On February 22, 1983, it was a quiet summer day in central Lesotho. It was warm with a temperature of 29 degrees Celsius or 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly clear skies. Then, unexpectedly at 6.26 p.m. local time, the ground began to shake. This shaking continued for several seconds as a magnitude 4.3 earthquake struck the region. Initially, not much was thought of this. Although unusual, quakes of this magnitude occur in the country about once every 9 to 10 years. Although the quake was thought at first to have not caused any significant damage, it was later indirectly linked to a wooden power line pole which caught on fire, which was visible for several kilometers. As curious people and repair crews approached the site of the fire, they found something completely unexpected. Emitting from the ground at a very low rate was a volume of orangish-red molten rock. This lava slowly flowed outwards from a vent in the ground, leaving behind a ropey texture which is referred to as pohoihoi. Although many nations within the African continent have abundant volcanoes which have produced recent eruptions, including unexpected countries such as Libya, Lesotho is not known to have any active volcanoes. In fact, Lesotho is not known to have been the site of a volcanic eruption in more than 40 million years. So, did the first volcanic eruption in Lesotho in several million years occur in 1983, or was something else the cause? The apparent volcanic eruption occurred in central Lesotho, where it was 3.5 kilometers east of Bushman's Pass at the apparent coordinates marked on screen. As we zoom in on the eruption site, something immediately looks off. Looking on a hillside, you would normally expect a lava flow which erupted on such a steep slope to have covered a significant portion of the hill in a dark black layer of lava. Instead, there is only a faint and small black dot on the hillside as the eruption did not produce a typical volume of molten rock associated with small volume basaltic eruptions. While small volume basaltic volcanic eruptions typically produce around 10 million cubic meters of lava, this eruption only produced a single cubic meter and lava only traveled 3 meters or 10 feet. This was the first sign that something was wrong, as generally speaking such a small volume of lava in a volcanic eruption is incredibly unlikely. Many basaltic eruptions which involve effusive lava flows tend to produce between 30 and 200 million cubic meters of material, as was the case during the 2021 eruptions of both Geldinga Dollar in Iceland and La Palma in the Canary Islands. Eventually, small segments of cooled lava were removed from the hillside in Lesotho and taken in for analysis. Its elemental composition was near identical to that of a rock which composes the vast majority of the nearby landscape. Approximately 183 million years ago, several hundred meters thick of basalt lava flooded onto the surface in a large volume flood basalt eruption, forming in part with a relevant hillside. This suggests that rather being new lava, what erupted was merely remelted surface rock. However, one thing was quite different between the ancient and 1983 lavas. The 1983 lavas contained triple the amount of zinc than the older lavas did. While this could be explained by other means, this most likely represents zinc which melted off into the lava from a nearby stay wire on a power line. The final nail in the coffin for the idea that an eruption did truly occur was found when a hole was dug into the ground to take a look at the expected deeper magma conduit which supplied material to the surface. Instead of seeing solidified lava which went down several hundred a thousand meters below, it only went down two meters after which the lava was completely absent. What had most likely occurred was that lightning from a stray thunderstorm struck an adjacent power line and transferred much of the energy into the stay wire which acted as a grounding wire, which then melted a volume of surrounding host rock. Although some people still believe to this day that Lesotho was the site of a volcanic eruption in 1983, a near-identical incident occurred at Tours Zawar in Pakistan in 2010, which also created lava connected to a grounded power line wire. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron R. Kenny for supporting this channel.